muskrat is an endangered mammal that feeds on small insects and fruit. That's fruit bad. Um, and anyways, why are we in the rainforest? I'm hot. Like, I wore a sweatshirt. Well, the rainforest is the tube nosed fruit bat's natural habitat. With all the rain that this forest gets, the plants that it needs to eat have enough water to grow. Well, looks pretty leafy. That's because it's only 8 to 9 centimeters. They only weigh 45 grams and they're multicolored so they blend in with the trees. It's called camouflage. Well, sure can't see them. That's the point. They aren't hunted like that. Well, that's enough. Wait, hold on. You're saying these animals don't get hunted? No, because they're so small, other animals can't see them. And they camouflage with the trees, so that helps too. These animals don't hunt anything either. They only eat small insects and fruit off of the tree. Oh, makes sense. Yep. Sure, these animals do have competition. Other, the other bats and big birds have their same food source, so they have to fight for their food. Oh, how do they fight? Like, what are, like, do they just, you know, fight? Like, oh yeah, fight. Or do they just, like, because they're so small, they really can't fight. So they have to camouflage and find their own food. It's a tough life. And how do they do it? Like, how do they get the fruit? I mean, they get the fruit. Well, this is pretty awesome. You might wonder why they're called two nose fruit bats, and this is why. With their noses, they act like snorkels, so they can breathe while eating. So while they're eating, they can. No, you can call their, the way they camouflage in their fur an adaption also. And they use echolocation to find their food. Oh, that's cool. I wish I could do that. Like, oh, that's not the only thing. Their size helps them too. If they, if they were big, they would get hunted. And they would eat other things. Not like insects, which are abundant in the rainforest. So, what are some like behaviors of it? Is it like mean? Is it nice? Is it ferocious? Like bite your face off or something? I would call them ferocious. Not many of them interact with human beings. However, they don't negatively or positively affect the human population. Some other behaviors include feeding on soft fruits, using echolocation to find their prey, climbing among flower clusters, and being solitary. That means that they hang alone instead of hanging with groups like normal bats. Interesting, huh? Also, the pups have been reported to cling to their mothers while their babies, while they fly, so they don't have to fly alone. Also, when females are pregnant, they tend to all gather together while in labor so that they have that emotional support. Today, I'm gonna tell you about it. That's our 
our story.